Here's a quick video to show you how to make seam or fillet welds in SimSolid. You know, I have a, I have a very simple model here. It's, a, it's an I-beam with this kind of support rack in the end. And I want to show you a reason why you would use, you know, fillet welds as opposed to just simple bonded connections. If you look at a close-up here of the, uh, the junction and we look at the bonded connections we have, you know, all the flat surfaces are bonded. No problem there. So we have this bolt inside bonded there, welded, 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 etc. However, uh, if I come back here and look at the um, at this plate here, it has just a single edge. And this is commonly done, you know, this is how they would design in CAD because they're not going to overlap it. Uh, they're really going to just run a, a, a seam weld down there at the end. So if I go back and look at my connections and find disconnected parts, it says I have two groups of parts. Group one is all this. These are all welded to the I-beam. But the second group is this single plate here. It's just there's no, there's no way to do a bonded connection between these, these edges. Okay, well, it's easy for us to, to handle that in some solid. We just do a, a more explicit uh, fillet weld. And the way you do that is you come in here to our fillet or seam weld and you specify uh, uh, both uh, a fillet size. So I'm going to use an eight millimeter weld. This is a 10 millimeter section. And then I have a couple ways to do it. I can do a master weld, which I pick one part and it welds all the connected parts to it. I can do a group weld where I can uh, just pick a collection of parts and it finds all edges to weld. And I can weld explicitly by edges, but let's just do group weld. So let's go pick uh, this part, this part, this part, this part in the back and this part. And let's just say find all eight millimeter welds. So I just do that. And you can see what it does is it finds a weld there and just kind of scroll down through this along those four edges and then the four edges here. Okay, so I just say okay. And now I have both my bonded connections at the bases and I have these seam welds here. And if we go back and check, it says, well, my assembly has no disconnected groups of parts. And we can go back and play with that just a bit. Let's just do a real quick analysis. Maybe we'll do a modal analysis. Let's look at maybe finding, you know, six modes. And we'll just say analyze that. Uh, no materials. So let's take the defaults. Okay, here we're done. So let's just go and maybe look at um, oops. look at uh, the mode shapes. There is our first bending mode. Let me speed it up just a bit. Second torsion mode, etc. But you can see in all these cases we have this nice uh, welded connection at the uh, support box. So that's how you do seam welds uh, in some solid. Thanks for watching.